Savona Yadava Kingdom. That is the setting for this episode. Hello and Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the series, which now, as I am Maharaja the Lama of the Maharashtra Kingdom, I'm feeling fine, 41 years old. Mm -hmm. So I see. And this is my heir, Dariyapa, which when he rules, he'll become Dariyapa the second. So he's got himself a great military education, but the other two sons, he's getting a martial education. And so is um, um, Daharasena. Daharasena, you got it. But remember, naturally betrothed to this um, Chera girl. But we may have to break that patrol because, you know, we don't want the terrorists to be having claims on our dynasty, despite the fact that we're allies, which we thank them for helping us to stop the Rastra Kutav kingdom from expanding into Maharashtra again. We want them to stay away from our business. Which right now they're still paying dearly in debt. She's uh, managed grief, despite her pregnancy, but she's doing well. Their level of splendor for the Rastrakota is reputable, whereas for us, insignificant. we still got a long ways to go. And also trying to keep my stress down, as I am focusing on majesty, but but simply for the heck of it, we're going to get the Patriarch, which will increase a little bit of fertility, but stress loss will be going down a lot better. I think I may have misspoke there. Anyways, and we'll go for August just to get the August trade eventually, especially when we get to writing history, because the Commission Epic decision will do me a lot of good, and i got plenty of years ahead of me to do so. As long as I stay healthy and stay away from trouble, then we shall be alright. Now, what is the priority of this episode? Hmm. We know that our, in three years time that I'll be able to have limited crown authority, which gives me a chance to revoke titles. Particularly Devagiri. We've always wanted to go back home to Devagiri, which the land is just as developed as here, well, almost. But this has buildings. These do not. And brother, you may have served me well, but unfortunately, um, we must return to Devagiri. Don't you know that uh, the Lama was born here in Devagiri? When he was just a newborn baby, he was born here. I may not have a claim to it, but damn it. I know when my parents and grandparents told me that I was born here, so... We're gonna get it back, damn it. I want you to fabricate the claim on Devagiri. And then, when that time comes, we'll revoke that title off of Devagiri. Because I have a legitimate, legitimate claim to that land. So that is going to be our main focus. The other being that we'll save up some money as we look to um, increase the size of men-arms, both the light bowmen and bowmen. And in the near future, we'll introduce the pikemen. Because, you know, some of the terrain in Maharashtra are hills and mountains. In addition of plains and jungles. Don't even think about getting war elephants. They're way too expensive, which I don't think I ever looked up their um, raised maintenance compared to, say, like, light footmen. Look, one... Like, one size one. Right? Um, star of five soldiers, reinforced 25. Two gold a month for just one size. Compared to one size of this. We have to be an empire if we want to get war elephants. 
That's in my personal opinion in terms of income. But we don't seek an empire right now. We seek control. More control for the domain limit. So we can get more tax and levies out of it. What am I going to do with a hook on you? You got nobody that I want. And also, I need more friends. That's not a priority. And I'm going to start befriending Krishnarao, the best Shovir of the land. I'm going to present him a gift. Everybody loves gifts. No, I don't want to come on too strong. This man is ambitious and he's trusting. He may not be a good commander, but he's a good fighter. Not just any good fighter, but he's a legendary blade master. Yeah, I didn't care about the hook on her. I know I didn't invest much in Kondana because our residence there and Askeo is temporary. We will soon be going back home where I was born. I wasn't raised in Devagiri, but I was born in Devagiri. Which is the Dejor capital of Maharashtra. Interpreting my recent run as a sign, Krishna concern has come to me with concern of one of my prisoners. It would please me greatly if you were to release my acquaintance Satkama from us house arrest. He says shrink effect. Sure. It'll get progress. So every Chauvier is going to be my friend, not just my comrade at arms. inferior now, but it's only a matter of time before to get back up to strength. Hence the reason why we're raising a bit of money. As much as we can. And hopefully some good extra taxes coming our way. While my wife will continue with the intrigue work to ensure to protect me from plots. Got no guardian. Hey. Should be a both marshal. We do it too. Eh, a verdict from Devok. It's a miracle. Rajkumar Hambero had a vision from the Tirthanakaras. Really? He assures me that Krishna and I are divinely ordained to be friends. Ambiral, let us pray together in gratitude. After long thinking, I finally invited Krishna to come, come on a tour of one of my estates in Nanded. Or Nanded. The visit turned out to be even better than I did and expected. Not only did Krishna Rao offer unexpected insight to the majesty, but he also kept my mood bright the entire time. He is not only my Shubhya, I'm not friend. The trip was worth the effort. I need more friends just to have less threats increase. I guess it's easier to do it somebody at court rather than a vassal. You're next. Only somebody in their 20s or 30s. And as a reminder, in, a, in six years' time, 
The Deccan region will enter in the early medieval era. Or most of any for that matter. Maharani is bruised and swollen. She barely looks human as I grab her hand. My wife attempts to speak, but no sound passes her lips. The, the solitary physician is standing in the corner in the room, actually wrangling his hands. Botched disease treatment. Oh. Damn it, man. This will not happen again. Do you understand me? She's been very good to me. She may not live. Um, how much is to increase it? 45, 55. Even though we can uh, get them up to a much larger size, but I think 300s will do. And then we'll soon introduce the pikemen here. Miraculous recovery, but she's still ailing. I'll be a patriarch. man who has truly dedicated his family and the prosperity of his house. Shabbat Jirel, that's my steward. Alright, he's out of here. Not as good as the previous, but... Get what you get. I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in a realm, dressed in the part of the splendid garments, jewelry which serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. Because I'm just and I shouldn't be so. Less stress or severe. I'm not going hunting anytime soon. And if there's not time to meditate yet. Think. I mean, this is rather tempting to me because, um, Lifestyle diplomacy, but regardless, we're going to take a big penalty in stress. And when you have level 2 stress, it reduces your health. Mm. Screw it. Local factions have symbolic meaning. I'll get the stress down, no to worry. On the same day, by the tooth and a curse. This party is boring. Uh, Paul has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can a mortal man be expected to endure this snoring celebration of the afternoon? I ask Caswell if anyone's looking for to with any double. Always saw that Debbie gives me a friend away from a nearby balcony. I've got to do something to stop this evening dragon. Perhaps I get to know her better. All right, another friend. I need more friends. Now I must meditate. Tempting to go up in the mountains, but when it says dangerous and uh, difficult and dangerous, that just means you're less likely to succeed, right? But if I do succeed, I 
could lose stress or gain some personal insights. Okay, I'm going up there again. I'm just basically gambling on it. So this is where I will meditate. You've been working hard, have you? The main focus. Clear war for what? Oh, claims. Pratehara. Rat. I know that area. It's not far from here. After learning that Congo would be guests at a manor in the village of Chisholm, I realized there would be first occasion to meet them. On my first house here next to them, the Dory Spinner, we both had a great time. I'm surprised there was so much to talk about. It goes closer to me. Is that the puzzle, man? No friend here. Well, there's always another. Hey, son. Mike. I like my son. He's going to be a great Rathi warrior one day. He and his brothers, too. Oh, what's way up in Kashmir? No, thank you. I prowled through documents, both ancient and less certain uh, relevance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful Lord of Devagiri. You damn right I am. Well, calm down, remind yourself who you're talking to. Don't you know he's the Raj Puruhit? He's zealous, but. Um, okay. Oh, I'll see it done. My brother won't like me for that, but we'll go in depth briefly. Wouldn't worry too much about that. There. Hopefully it'll be worth it. There's a thin mountain there in Golaga. I've cleared my thoughts as I focus inward. Meditating in isolation, I was suddenly struck with an epiphany. The presence of man in the world and how we fit in match order, another piece of the universal puzzle put into place. No stress loss, but that's more learning, which is actually good because the progress of the culture. So now we'll just wait a few more months while we make some more money. I'll go to the shops first. Get the sun in my life states, it is only natural that others should respect me. I'm convinced that Agapa has also accomplished a thing or two which fills him with pride. Perhaps to commission a small poem comparing our deeds to illustrate that we are both cut from the same cloth. Alright, some stress loss. Everyone, I will make everyone hears about my greatness. Boosting my own ego. <laughs> really? Kosala. Not the hell I want to go to right back. Oh, kin fighting kin. 
Good thing we stay out of North Indian business because it's starting to look like the uh, Kurukshetra War up there. I'm referencing that from the Mahabharata. You know, Ken fighting Ken for the throne that would unite all. What do you do with that money? You never really... What the... Typhus! He's feeling fine. Again, I would like to rule Devagiri and kick the rest out of this land. And you created your own cadet branch. That's one thing. My hope and loyalty. Oh, I just want you out of here. So I can move my capital here. And start investing more of the money here. I have to learn that that I offer. Would you guess you're in a manner of a to get one? I realize to be perfect case in leaving. Which the time came, I'll see you right next time to get tired again. But I find myself in the table saying anything. Sorry, son. At least you're still my child. Well, try another. Um, Scrivia. Who's gonna be around for, for long? Batman. Content Craven. You don't have to be a commander. Just be at least gonna be a good fighter. My brother just died of typhus. Now it's Kama Devil. Uh huh. This is gonna be a way to getting rid of. No, do not assassinate. Just wait. Nine months. Patience. It takes patience to meditate up in these mountains. But now you should have patience. In your own court. The old man. Yeah. Okay, you got slightly better learning than my previous. Good to know. Seventy-five for pikemen. Well, until we get more land, I'll tell you what. Well, it's going to cost you more money if you're going to fabricate all these claims in each of these zones. One by one. In a Devagiri claim. The former Rastrakuta capital. Remember the death of Janambik. Well, you ain't dead yet. <laughs> what your hope sure is. Daka is my chance, but she's just as good as she was a... Guess you'll get it, but you won't have a... Uh, Land for long. Good, dang it. And what's your health? He's feeling fine. Just a second. I, I ain't got no dread, but it's for the heck of it. So, Honor Alliance joined in a Lanka war. Uh, on the claim of the Raja Charanadu. She wants to rule that.
we got time. But, um, how much of that uh, would decline? I would take a. Yeah, are you. Well, we have no choice but to accept it, but. I mean, honestly, I really don't care about um, the situation, but. We're also allied with Lanka, and we hate for them to be our enemies, but. We'll just say yes, but I'm not committed to that war. Some would think it's betrayal, but. In actuality, it's just. I ain't gonna waste my time down there yet. Wait a minute, what? Oh, yes. The Rastrakuta are still allied with Lanka. Okay, now you've uh, got my attention. I still got a bone to pick with the Rastrakuta. The war you want, the war you shall have. We don't have our good commander brother anymore. Said we still got a bone to pick with him. <laughs> Barely making money. Meanwhile, increase crown authority. It'll cost me some prestige. But if I were to tell him to, hey, hand over Devagiri, and he will do it guaranteed, but I have a claim on a tunnel allowing me to revoke it without being viewed as a tyrant. This is a legitimate claim, you know? You have no power here. So that ends that little affair. Sorry about this, nephew. And I know it was a stressful thing to do, but it was necessary. So we got Devagiri again, which pays us a little more tax, since this is fresh. And when the hostilities end, and whatever that we loot from these holdings, then... Huh. Development is 10, development is 13. They invested, why didn't the previous owner? And we don't have the ability to construct a duchy building, as we do not have Burr's innovation. No, not at all. Not even manualism. That's too far away to be thinking about. Like the first thing you should be constructing is defenses. Because forts are important here. Never is no exception since we got our old home back. To the land where I was born. Name Giovanni. Oh yeah, I forgot to select um let me see. How much is that? 20 years? 29? We have an exposure for barracks, but if we advance on that, we already have mustering grounds. These are what we may look for, but wouldn't you jump ahead on that too much?
just go for this for now. Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by Lavex's thoughts and erotic fantasies. Of all the hardships in my daily life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about him? Be a recluse? But there's a much bigger stress loss if I just go rakish, which increases a little bit of intrigue. Mm -hmm. And uh, minus one diplomacy, which which is good now. Okay, just this once. A trip to the brothel will bring relief. Start reading the... After learning that a village of will be just a village of Surapana, I realize it will be perfectly useful to them. I'm going to see the next time with Dori Sujan. We both had a great time. I was surprised at how much people talked to By the time I left, it was the instead of electron already. Good man. Wounded her again. The burning sensation of my groin was growing so unbearable I had to excuse myself and flee to my chambers. Finally alone, I could scratch myself to find relief. Yet there was no relief to be found for my fingers found blisters and tore them open. How? Who? Again, not too concerned with this past childbearing age. And whoever I'm marrying off to is none of their business. Well, that ain't good. Killed him. Friend. They really kicked our ass in that one. They're gonna retreat back there. If we want to help the Chara, even though. The strength is a little, well actually, let me see, that's 13,000 there's and what a chatter. Well, they're a bit under. Is there any loot to be here? Like, is there anything that's worth wanting? Not really. Follow them. We'd like to defeat them again. And we captured this Dhammapati after we got his leg. Pay up. Because you ain't gonna be in fighting condition anymore. I was reluctant to join that war first, but found an opportunity. Again, I would love to revoke you all right now, but what we need is some more legitimate claims, so get to work. Want to increase the domain size? Mulaka and Batsaguma. What I want. Going to see, I see. So head to Kawayani. Then after that, we may have to go. Well. It was a safe path towards Chera. We're just gonna sack the capital. You got any kids? Oh boy. Labakana Kingdom may be expanding here. Takarai Bajavi has been actively supporting 
Sakuraima Devi and her independence faction. However, my wife has a plan to change that. Trust me, the things I could tell Thakurani would make a disavow Mahadevi in an instant. Make sure that she never supports her again. Got it! A new commander, Arasara Roy. Another forder. That's exactly what we need. There's the Maharani herself. <sighs> okay, that stress may start catching up on me again. Though. I will get some of the money through the loot when once we take Kalyan. A wall in my lap and everything and everyone that brought us to offer my beck and call. Nothing releases the mind like a good release. We'll lose some stress, but I already have Lara's box, so here I come, girls. I lay in tangle of limbs, and the woman straddling me, and its release and relief shudders through me. My mind is hard and has been weeks, but still, my pulse race is magnificent. Once more, come here, girls. All gone. Hell of a stress relief, but damn it! The lover's box part. Just get lucky with the walls, huh? We ain't got no siege weapons. We don't need siege weapons. Army's not large enough. We'll help you soon once we sack the capital, then we'll make our way down there, then liberate this region. Looking good. Ah, oh, yes, the control of Devagiri. Which, how much is it for it to get back up? To, oh, it's going to be very slow. But again, not investing in that land yet. My priorities are elsewhere. As their Maharaja, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis. A slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? You already don't like me already, so fear is a far more effective tool. Header. I know it's a bad thing to do that to your fellow vassal and woman. But still, let me go meditate real quick. Just, um. Just go up the mountains. So we'll make our way back down here. No, no, no. Just do this fast. Cow cut, cow cut. That's over there. I don't think there's any way that we can help out the chara at this rate. But we got the sun. I know it doesn't make a difference to the war score, but, you know, I was married to the man of the Loma Kana Kingdom. And with equal doctrine, it does not matter. Do we just kill the boy because that, you know, it's going to give me more dread and it's unjust for the way I've done, but don't care. This is just to increase more dread, so it'll make those vassals more likely to just give me the damn title. When we get back at him. Oh, 
So, uh, Avasara Roy, the new guy we brought in. Join up. Ah. Goddamn phone. Sometimes whenever I get text on my phone, I get slightly annoyed. Not because it's in the middle of recording. It's because I remembered what I was supposed to be doing, and yet I didn't! Anyways, your path will remain the same. So keep on going all the way down to Calicut. So, my vassal has been wounded, and her flesh contracted foulness and swelling. The right kind change the minister, and uh, Valgiritha is merciful, she should make it. Sorry about that. We just had to make an example out of you. Sorry. Once again, Christian Rawls becoming a better and better fighter. Taking it to the capital would seem like a good idea, but at least try to take one of the territories. Okay, they're on their way while we're on our way. And the Maharani's schemer, so therefore increases intrigue skill, and through her, I get a bit more increase. Hey, don't mind me about my time in the brothel. It's just... Temptation got the best of me. And nobody likes a good temptation. Do you remember in a, a previous episode that Vilama says that you deserve respect and justice and we demand, but yet... You could not stop thinking about dark secrets. Huh. Oh, I know your dark secrets, all right. You just can't stop thinking about those erotic fantasies that are going through your head. Your mind ain't clean. You've got to claim, but let's try to liberate one of the territories at least, with the help of the Shadow, but I think there may be a big battle coming up, so hurry! They're going to find out soon. Thank the capital of Mahoyadapuram. Stick together. You may not like me, but you are terrified of me because I've done some things. You'll do. We got a lot of porters. Then again, we live nearby water. River. We're about to help out here. If we take them on here, it would be even, but... Let's assist the Chatter Force first. I got siege weapons, and soon we got reinforcements coming up. Is that Gary? Is that another of the ally? Yes, I got lots of allies. Oh my. How many are they bringing? 
Oh, that from the Palava Raj. Oh, it's a Raj. Raj of India. Oh, that's all our way in the Bengal region. Can't go there. Oh, they're coming. Take this territory quick. Reclaim your homeland. If we lose one battle, we're withdrawing from the war. Wait a minute, there's a river here. But then again, uh, I guess we should just follow them. Don't get caught out here. Taking on just one army will, will be probably win, but if they bring everybody, we would lose badly. So, Calicut. And I hope something bad happens over there, but it seems unlikely. Okay, they just landed. So if we could just take them on on an opponent that's been recently disembarked, but they got better army commander and more army commander traits. And they got the jungle. No, we be defending in the jungle. It's friendly territory. I'm about to do something stupid. Chances are even. Stop! More prestige. Ah, uh, we made a mistake. Run! Help! Yeah, we're probably gonna lose this one day. I don't remember us. Haraja Hala Superior. And we're outnumbered badly here. Get out of here. We're we're treating now. Made a tactical error, we got a little greedy here. Again. You're supposed to be well Lynette, but you are not. I told you this will not happen again. You screw up for the third time. Oh, did I do that? Uh, I dare I cannot express how sorry I am. This is gonna kill her. Well, we're definitely withdrawing from this war. Well, should sack this and get a bit of loot while we're at it. I know it does not contribute to the war score, but hey, at least try to loot something. Might accept that's rebellion. You 
ain't scared of me. Smuggling ring, you idiots. Why do I get to go to the brothel again, by the way? Because I like to know. <laughs> oh, this coming November. Because I really need to get rid of this. Get a whole respect and justice thing that was thrown out of the window. They've taken the capital. They're going to destroy their army and they'll soon take Kongu. And uh, we'll break the patrol soon enough. Why don't I do that right now? It's a lost cause. I'll sacrifice the prestige for that and I'll look for you... Uh, for a proper bride in the future, as you're brave, you're temperate, and lustful. I like the sound of that, coming from you. Oh, you're an adventurer. Compared to your other, or is the Craven? Whereas this one's more into a bit of intrigue with Marshall, but it's the best out of the best. These two, these two brothers like each other. You've done well. So let's just take a bit of loot, move the army over to this region, because we're about to revoke that title and they're gonna rebel about it. Rebel about it. <laughs> That's a good way of saying. Hey, you got a child yet? No, no, too early to be thinking about such things. There we go. Got a little bit of money in return. So now head to Prat um, Pratistana and Mulaka. We'll kick them out of here. They may bring an ally, which will get rid of them too. That's Indra Dot. You'll be on it. There are a few things I enjoy more than Krishna Rao's company. He dragged me around to one activity after another. And the high pace truly helped keep my mind off of my troubles. After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Krishna Rao. Thank you. Hey, want to come to the brothel later this month? Later this season? I know it's going to be till November, but for now. Damn it! Get out of my land! We know you're a Kanata, but that's Marathi land. She'll say no, so we'll, we'll defeat them here. Who are the other attackers? Really, the Indrid Raj as well. And that brings the total of... We could take them on. But they may call in this as well. That's a pretty sizable war, but... The one who leads the fight is the Thakurani. Begin the siege. We can get them before they get away. As more will be gathering. Mercenaries, they hired. But it does not matter. Good work. 
about to start. No, here I come, girl. Spending a little bit of money. Ugh. Ronnie herself. Good luck trying to take my capital and Cordana Fort. The culture is now in the early medieval era. It's going to take an attorney to have to research any of these, but wait one. Go for this first. Barracks will come at a later time, and eventually we'll steal as well. my friend. You'll be pulling double duty. Bimma comes of age. Tough soldier and a forder. Everybody's a forder these days. As I said, do we really live nearby a river? Aha! That explains it. If you want to teach the ways of warfare, at least you got to know how to cross the rivers. Rajkuma, you're no good, but stick around, because one day you may run Koldana. Oh, who's going to get Devagiri? Us. Right. Just the way I like it. Keep up with your training and you might be a Shuvia one day. To prove your worth. Alright, we've taken it. Now get them out of here. Get them. God damn it! You guys are right. Just taking long round. We'll split the army soon. One of these days. this way. Might lose. Bullshit. We're calling bullshit on this one. We're just putting armies for added mobility. Better advantage over us. Oh, yeah, go ahead and release him. You ain't worth a damn. Yeah, that was all awesome cause, so. Now they've taken a big chunk of that land, and, and they are superior. Because they have many alliances. But he's also allied with us, so. He could be a great friend and a great enemy.
hopefully some more personal insights. We're going to keep doing that. Now, who would want to kill my Martian? Spending a river crossing. That's our business. <laughs> Kalinga Ganga Raj, that's so big. Such a pleasant man you are. That's not like you. There, I like to capture the Rani. So we're in prison now, we'll gain a bit of dread for this. So be it. Since they rebelled against me, their titles will be revoked. have a legitimate claim to it. And as for her, she only holds one title. Have them both off as well. Right. Who wants it? Do you desire? So it would be better if, um, let me see, that you should hold it. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, you get all of this. But I'm still keeping a bit of that, for income reasons. But the sun is ours. And what to do with the rest? Whatever little money that you have, pay up. Because, you know, I need some. be forgiven for their trespasses. Sarah, we need to get that next. a bit more developed. So. Let's fabricate this claim now. It's all about control. Right now that we got the money, now let's introduce the pikemen here. There we go. 300, and that's it. Now we'll start saving up money to start investing in Devagiri, finally. So we'll move the realm capital here. I need the marshal to put get this under control. And when Devagiri is fully controlled, then Madhistana needs to be controlled too. Seems deeply concerned what comes to me. It has come to light that I am investigating the existence of a just and rightful claim on 
uh, for you and the thick honor of Matsukoma. So I say many of your vassals are upset that their Maharaja would ignore their loyalty and act against them like this. How could you let them catch you? You knew, they knew my intentions. Unfortunately, I would have to give away this to one of my sons. Called Donna Devagiri. No, no, give it a second. It hasn't registered. Dariapa gets called Donna. And Devagiri. And Malaka. There you go, just, just give it a moment. Trick of the Overwatch, so it gets that sign. Well, we keep um, Maka, Cordana, and Devagiri. Which that title doesn't exist, but I think it should be created on its own. Needs more taxes. The woman I dream about. Once again, I wake with a beating heart and a remnant fire of the uh, remnant of a fire smoldering in my loins. Many beautiful, many nights have passed since I shared a bed with the beautiful woman I stumbled upon during my nightly excursions, but my longing only grows. Kasabai. Yes, of Rajkumaravya. Oh, I must find her! Clearly, he's not thinking straight anymore. Haven't gotten a lot of policy related events. He and I have a little in common, which made it difficult to communicate with him. However, some effort I could teach myself enough to carry conversation about strategy and supply lines. Okay, let's tr give this a try. Martial study, five years. The subject deserves as much study as I can afford. I gained some new insights. I was about to say, my lord, we can find no signs of this peasant you have searched us for. With limited resources at my disposal, there is only so much I could do. Even as my chancellor Damapat de Kundaka Devi bows and scrapes my thoughts and wonders for that magical night. Oh. I must have her, whatever it takes. Look, she's not going to be around anymore sooner or later, but I already got that set up for her. Such a pleasant man. You are. How are you feeling? Try befriending her, it ain't gonna work. Just go befriend another Sylvia. Another comrade at arms. Why don't you? You said you were going to invest in Devagiri, but now you are investing money over some woman that you dream of. My lord, I present you Karasabai, 
brought before upon your assistance. At last, she stands before me. I feel like the time we, we shared never ended. Going by her warm smile, she's not forgotten me either. What the? That ain't justice. But she's an evil antagonist, so beware. Beware of her, but still. Please, Kersavai, stay here at court. Because you could be a good chancellor, to be honest. Better than Kudaka Devi. She's a bisexual, so... I don't know about her. Seduce may not work. Romance will not do. I got to have her! <laughs> Hopefully there will be some progress. Uh, that will increase the chance of seduction. If she rejects me, well then... Well... What are you talking about? You're the Maharaja. You you have the orders to... Okay. I got a position for you. Uh... What the hell was her name again? Brought her here to court, um... Guess if I... Just a court here, um... She's just unlanded in... At a court... Of Kohabla. Oh, she's around, but she's not here directly. Son, I would just like to, uh, you know, get her over. Wait a minute, do I not have a court system? No, I still do. It says absent court. Absent, you say. Okay, then that Chancellor shall be you, unfortunately. But this damn party is boring. Vodka. Uh, would you like to be my friend? Good. Less stress chances, alright? I got so many of them. Oh dear. This is going to cost a lot, isn't it? No. Stop right now. Start again. We need to save up money for that. Master of words. As a scholar of diplomatic arts, I am well aware of the power of eloquent compliment. Showing I've reached for a woman's best quality is sure to her heart. I shall write a letter to Kersabai, complimenting her... Um, calm down, man. Let's see, uh, we know she's an evil person, but she's pretty to look at. A pleasing female physique. Unparalleled, breathtaking beauty. Compliments well received. Budding interests. Oh. Success chance increase. Dahara Sena. Top soldier, flexible leader. He'll do fine. But remember, he's to rule Trikuta and um, Tarvat. He's hill four tools of you, well, son. Although, honestly, who is the breadwinner of this family? Based on Marshall. 14, 13, 11. Well, it's the eldest, and that's the way it's going to be. Get well soon. At least my corpus didn't screw up this time. Have I found out about this some, um, then, uh, oh boy, I'm going to kill him. We'll get Devagir in the full control. 
Very soon. So we'll fabricate just one more claim. Um, it says defending against... Uh, stop! He's going to lose this land. And, and, hold on. Reading a call her for the celebrations have come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seems to be over. My Karasabai suggested a reading. A clerk's clerk, easy for me to say, soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Karasabai. Well, I don't know. She's an eager reveler, that's one thing. She likes She's not religious, I in my opinion. She's very sinful. So let's be entertained. Travels to Jerusalem. But greens us, uh, or guess if I seems completely engrossed. Should I approach me? Good choice, fellow. And she says it smirks. It was great, wasn't it? Smoldering chemistry. If only I could have you and make you come to court now. Uh oh. Who's the new uh, Maharaj down there? No Buddhist. It's Hindu now. Hope he doesn't attack us. Because, I mean, what does he? He doesn't have a claim on anything. Well, what about the people we expelled? You think we should have kept watch over them on where they're going as well? Not looking so good, huh? I could go to another pilgrimage, but I'm saving my money for... Should we just stop fabricating that claim? Because he's on a losing end here. Yeah. He's being outnumbered. It's not been taken yet. There's still some fight in him. Well, regardless, you will have a claim on the county anyway. No matter who holds it. In her chambers. A shiver of anticipation finds its way up my spine as I find my way to Kersabai's chambers. As soon as she opens the door, she smirks, smiles intriguingly, and pulls me inside with a grip on my shirt. As her arms envelop me, the fire in my chest bursts into flames, and the rest of the night is spent in a warm, fiery haze. Oh, Kirstabai, my beloved, my beloved, will let us meet again. So again, I lose more because I'm rakish, because I got her where I wanted. If only we could bring her to court, but, uh... Well, just I don't know how long she's got to live. Yeah, sorry about that. Raja Vanupa. Well, there's no hope for that. Doesn't matter who's the owner of it, I'm going to revoke it anyways, when that opportunity comes. In a dusty corner of the library, I found a tome bound in letter and inscribed with weird symbols. Partially hidden behind other books. It is old, but it's obviously some recent use. As I leave through it, I quickly come to the realization that it deals with some unconventional knowledge. Well, I'm not that virtuous. So I glance around before sitting down to read. So, hope the one who's reading the book is around to see me. Get this under control. As Kers, uh, uh, by his belly grows, there could be no doubt. She's what's a child. She said nothing. Could this be the result of our carnal relations? Uh. Well, I might never know, but I always wonder. Shh. Um. 
Calm down there. Just keep your pants on. Or whatever you're wearing on. Calm down there. Save that money for the claim. Because he's the new owner now. And a Raja of Anupa. Ooh, a significant force they are. See it done. If we tell him to revoke now, he's definitely going to say no to that. Might accept. Don't care. This is just six, alright? I want the full... The full complement of it. So, raise troops immediately. They're going to definitely say no to that. And they're going to bring their ally in and... Good. There, we got what we need. So. Now let's get to work on Devagiri proper. The first thing you're going to have to save your money on is to build walls and towers. Because this needs to be defendable from any kind of malefactor that are out there. Good intrigue and diplomacy, which I really do not need. Mercy's master of intrigue, but lowborn and as a friend. If I could divorce her and marry the lover now, I mean, sure, I'll get less intrigue coming in, but. This would prevent adultery from me. She's an adulteress now, but not me. Do it. You're out of here. Quick, marry me, now! Making it right. My uh, wife Maharani, uh, you're Maharani now, approach me with hand on the belly. I did not tell you this before, but the child I'm carrying is yours. Now that we are lawfully wedded, this secret can do no harm. This secret will haunt me no longer. Love prevails. Oh, guess have I my more so to think I can embrace you openly now. With the blessing of both Susie Ma and the people around us, I am the happiest man alive. Come here, wife of mine. So, it's like, yeah, we know she's a bad person overall and it ain't gonna help her, but I don't care. She is, uh, the most desirable woman I've ever seen. Yahoo! <laughs> Please don't kill me. Anyways. Knowing that you're good at intrigue, so do help with the court intrigue. I got my diplomacy, you help me with the intrigue. Just keep me alive from any... I'm gonna keep using that word. Those malefactors within here. Not born beautiful. Name it after me? Sure. Romance doesn't work well. She, well, she doesn't like romantic men, but she does like somebody who stoops, and I had the seduction skills. Now stay away from other women. Don't go to the brothels anymore. You found the one that you desired, right? It's like, yeah, 
during my time at the brothel, there's a lot of good looking women in there, but one stands out to me. And glad to be married and divorce that old bag of bones. Yeah, listen to New York, tell me some words. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it. Um, my steward has informed me of an obscure law in the thick on of the United States. None but the Maharaja may be its protector. Normally, such an archaic law will be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put the Raja of Sodhala, my vassal and current ruler of the thick on in his place. Get on, press claim. Down there. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I, I thought I sent somebody to rule over there. Brother, son, you've lost your land. What happened? Faction demand. You coward! How could you prosper now? The law is clear. The Maharaja has full rights. Damn it, son. You're supposed to rule there, and yet you gave in to their demands. Because of this, it's tyranny. Now it's time for me to go meditate again. Up the mountains we go. Okay, now let's begin. Well, now we can begin. The first step for any respectful fortification is the erection of bastions and curtain walls that do a decent job at, of keeping the enemies and riding peasants at bay. This is just for starters. Some would think I've gone too far with the tyranny, but I do not care. Oh yes, you're gonna rule cold down on one day. Alright, oh, he's pregnant again. Hmm, think. Burn a man such as you, who will one day rule cold down. Need someone with good traits for once. About her. Schemer, okay. She'll definitely help you out on what you need. Hope for some more intelligent children in the future. Okay, we're not looking for alliances at this time. We already got one, and we're in a good position. Too bad. You've expanded a bit. Whatever happened to the Lingana? Oh, she doesn't have much land. You know, it's Labakana. She lost her kingdom, what? Did she lose a tyranny war? Faction demand? Abdicated. That means she lost a war of some sort, so. Unless it's some events that I'm not aware of. Let's see if we can get rid of her. I know it increases a bit of stress, but I'm going to help him out a little here, because I don't want them to have more gains. And That's Labakana, Cadet Branch.
son of a... Well, support this scheme for once. And hope for some more events that may be improved. Truth takes time. Don't even think about it. This is just at least an attempt. That's tiny. Yeah, there is no way that I'm gonna get to exalted among men so I can subjugate them. It'll definitely happen under Daddy Appa. Because this stage is not getting any. Nor does this start off with money. Oh, yeah, Got a daughter. A pretty one. For once. Hmm, thinking. Ganga Bai. Yeah, named after the goddess of Ganga. Even though we're giants, but. I don't get any ideas. It was not what the trigger I was expecting by uh, spying on secret conversations, but discovering the truth about Raja Durga Simha's origins does not hurt. Perhaps this can, can help my uh, fight. Blackmailing. Might accept. Confused. Well. You're out of luck. Had high hopes, but not so much. Okay, bring him in. That's where you make a good income here. Huh? A vassal down of Padre Genovigi dared to lead my sister from on into cardinal sin. I demand satisfaction of this slight. That's from Kalani Chaluk. And this is my vassal token. Try not beg it will plead for your forgiveness publicly. You've got to be just sometimes. Oh. Let's get back to the Alliance together before they do any harm on us. We are going to be good friends together. And hopefully for our continued relations with us neighbors. Venga Chalukya, if we ever expanded this area, it's weaker, but it's a good way to, you know, to go this way into that part of the Deccan. My spy has to come with grave news. She is certain that Gonka, my old friend, is scheming against my friend Amasara. You're exposed. How dare you betray me. Oh, by the way, shouldn't my wife be a Chancellor? Because I recall... No, 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 no. Quit thinking like that. 
You forgot how all this works. Your lust for her has been concealed in your mind. And I'm sorry if I've given in the lost box because I cannot resist it! I just found out, but I cannot express how sorry I am. If it escalates, we'll have the court physician to treat this sort of thing. Hell, I got enough money to uh, hire a more sophisticated physician. Okay. Give it a shot. Search went longer than I before was called off. And it was only then the body was found, bloody, mangled, and torn after and attacked by some vicious, hungry beast. This whole beast was doing disastrously. My agent confessed as soon as the child was found. Now everyone knows I was behind this tragedy. Facing unforeseen obstacles and I grow part of any child's upbringing. Ah, damn it. Now I'm a done murdered. She's pissed now. But hey, as long as it's within the Rastrakuta family, alright? That's all I gotta say. Again, you can't do it. Not enough prestige, and you're not at that level of fame. Yeah, sorry about that. Offer vassalization acceptance. Oh, by the way, the northern holdings of the Rastrakuta have been split away. Obviously not this one because of the distance. 30. Logically, we should try this. No chance. Uh, how old are you? 30. Okay. Seduce will not do. At least be friends? No. Then just sway her then. We need to try to you know, get her to accept, get her to accept joining the, uh, you know, that's technically part of Malwa, but any bits of territories will do. <sighs> Not until another damn year. But, uh, episode will be ending soon. So, it's been quite a, quite a life for, uh, for this man. Ahai Lama. As he really loves her. Despite the fact of giving Lois Box and hope that the children don't get passed down with Lois Box. Because it is a inheritable trait. No Lois Box on her, but... Not on. Sagunabai. Somewhat easy to pronounce. Notice all the Marathi women usually end with by. Like Kersabai. Alright, additional taxes, so we'll close this episode very soon. You know what? For once, go hunt and then feast. Don't even think about going to that brothel. The tiger. My friend, uh, Setika Varman is first to see it. The powerful tiger is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but it is observing us through the undergrowth. A lot of guys with the animal, it is almost it can sense my attention, for it suddenly takes off. We ride! It's a tiger hunt! Here's a little bit of Indian flavored theme for you. My world narrow, narrows to the nature surround us as we follow the tiger on to escape through the ravine. Riding side by side with Sutika Vaman. I can hear the thunder of hooves, dogs barking, men shouting. The excitement flows to slowly gain on our course. We press on. Oh, we were hunting here. A 
that's where we're hunting. I know that it is a killing shot before the arrow even finds its target. As the tiger stumbles and falls, we drown out its oils and shouts of victory. A good kill and a good chase. As the hunt is drawing to an end, we're not a horse to leave the plains behind us. The servants prepare the tiger, an utter game for the journey back. Hunts like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. Glorious, widely known. But I highly doubt that I will live long enough to be exalted among men. You need 4,000 more. Oh, yes, she'll be now. I have to all running out of good men here, so. What's going on? Nothing. It's vassals. Yes, I am the true lover, but the faith is different. Major difference between tears is intimidated by me. I'm, I'm still intimidated, huh? Right? Somewhat, but the fact that, yes, I murdered, and I'm not proud to say that, but I still have you. Yeah, just looking stuff up. Not good enough for learning to be the physician. I just can't stop loving her. Having more children. Because she's so irresistible. Even though that's only a... If pretty is like a level 2 on the physical trait for that. Okay, one more act, and that's the beast. Two hundred! Guests are gathered great hall, lords and ladies from near and far reaches on. The mood is bright, and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Oh, so that's uh, I never knew you could click on that. So we know who's here and who didn't come. Oh, we see my vassals in. It's me, uh, the Maharani's sister, my other twin sister, uh, Gangabai, and the Harasena. These are the attendees. Oh, okay, you can actually, look, move your mouse wheel to uh, scroll more. Okay. Jayapa of Amanaga, Vijavi of Elapura, the heir of the Sundayadava Kingdom, Dariapa, the Thakur, and of course, my wife and love. I never knew you could click on that. Set your piece. Click and select. I never noticed that. As the feast is underway, our guests are eating and drinking merrily. Bema approaches Kersavide. This is a marvelous feast. All compliments to the hosts. Kersavide deserves all credit. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Thakura and Gangabai. Uh, we spoke all leading about all manners of subjects and things would have we seem a lot in common. We had such a good time with them. What a good evening. It's going to take a while. Only I were to befriend her right then and there. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. 
have my wife here said my I thank you much for the success and feel nothing but gratitude to you bless you guys. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, as I will be going to meditate in the next episode and think about what the hell are we going to do. <laughs> I know we didn't do much of expanding, but we did a lot of building and slight development, making friends, and got the woman that I desired, even though <laughs> she knows it's kind of bad, but it's like, what? Well, She's a terrible person, all right, morally, but she's just too pretty for me to avoid. And uh, I'm sure my ex is no longer with us. One last check before we get out of here. My ex. Um, she's still in a court, isn't she? I forgot her. No, 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 no. You don't forget her name. No, not Lakshmi. Oh yeah, she's gone. Natural causes, two years ago. See, I told you her time was coming, so that's why I just... <laughs> gotta get her. And I got her. And we'll see what happens next to the Maharaja, who's still feeling fine. He may be a killer, but... Oof. He just, uh, lust, lusty thoughts. Crept up to me, got the best of him. <sighs> But here in the Indian subcontinent, things are getting messy and messier, and even spilled its way up to the uh, Tokarian regions. But here in Maharashtra, things are going well. But we'll soon try to expand somewhere else, and soon. But until then, so long for now.